So this is a Camaro only issue, all right? I don't have this issue on any other of my cars, but I'm just trying to put my helmet in the car, you know, prep for go-karting night and whatnot. So we're just gonna, and, and yeah, clearly the freaking window line is too thin in this thing. Now, you know, this, this sucks for this scenario, but Mike, do you wanna explain why this is actually awful in real world circumstances? So, when you go to the track, you're typically wearing a helmet. When you crash at the track, you sometimes end up against a tire wall where you cannot open your door. You kind of have to go out the window. You can't do that. And if the car is on fire, you need to get out of the car quickly. Typically speaking, when you get out of the car quickly, you just leave your helmet on. And yeah, you can't climb out the window. GM just is not FIA regulated, safety approved whatsoever. But you know, it's all right. Anyways, now we're just gonna have to do it like that for tonight. Alrighty, I'm walking up right now. I'm gonna see the TE37s for the R8 refinished for the first time here at uh, good old Fast Adams. Oh baby, oh my God. Dude, it's like, <laughs> it's not even the same wheel anymore. Dude, this actually, this looks phenomenal. That looks sick. And then dude, the center caps too. Bro, I'm, I'm so stoked to put them on the car. <laughs> so yeah, these, got refinished and pretty much what I told him was I wanted diamond black, which is what Ray's will produce these in. And he tried to replicate it as best as possible, which means that in outdoor lighting, there's gonna be a little bit of kind of a gunmetal gray sparkle. It's really hard to capture on camera. We, we need like, yeah, we need actual sunlight to just like blast on these boys. Oh yeah, that made all the difference. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's gonna be so cool. Mm -hmm. But then pretty much in the shade and at night, these are gonna look black. It's gonna completely stormtrooper-fy the whole car. The most difficult thing by far was I wanted pretty much the Volk Racing stamped back in kind of the metal engrave that uh, M Specs and Diamond Black finished TEs would usually come in. And he was able to do that. They, they're, this isn't just white. This has got like a full silver metal sparkle to it along with on the center cap. Do you want to explain like how you even did that? <laughs> uh, so basically what I do is I finish the wheel entirely and then I go back through and actually fill it with powder and then I have to remove everything that I don't want coated. Uh, it's actually a little bit of a challenge because you're trying to get the same exact finish evenly across it and it's a little bit of a pain but yeah it does turn out it turns out really really well so there's like a different kind of like lighter chrome powder yep. that you put in there you said yeah it's a completely different color it's a, a chrome plus from prismatic powders and i went through and filled it back in and then removed everything that i didn't want to be powder coated and cook it again it, it's gonna be funny because if there's ever a point in time where i'm selling these wheels separately i'm just gonna have to even see if the whoever is buying into them will even even know that they've been re-powder coated over because yeah. they pretty much look factory now. They look like straight from Volk Racing. Come check out Fast Adams. You guys are up here in Seabeck, Washington, yep. and uh, he'll be able to pretty, I mean, you saw what he's able to do with my wheels, which is kind of a good testament for kind of his capability range of yep. powder coating. So go ahead and hit him up if you guys got anything needed. Well, I got my babies loaded up with me. We're gonna go drive back and get them mounted on the car. Oh, I haven't been this excited for changing up the R8 in so long. Like, don't get me wrong, the Harlequin stuff was cool. And I was just as stoked to see that for the Gold Rush Rally. But this is like an actual look that my personal taste is just ecstatic and I can't wait to see. Now I must apologize to anyone who wanted to see the TEs in white on the off-white car. But frankly, the reason why I never even bothered to mount them and whatnot is because yeah, the paint code's technically Suzuka gray. It's not full on white. So there would be a severe tone difference by the time you put an actual stark white TE37 on this car. For me to fully embrace and enjoy white on white, the two whites have to basically be almost the same. It's just not gonna be the same with white on off-white or gray. And my dream finish, for having a nice set of exotic TEs to go on an exotic car have always been diamond gun metal. So we got them all set up right behind me. We're gonna go mount them on the car. All right, the moment of truth. Woo, hoo, hoo, hoo. 
See, I'm stoked because this is a front. This is, in my opinion, not even that good looking of a TE because it's so flat because it's got to clear the brakes. And man, this already looks aggressive. Yeah, this, uh, this seals the deal right here. This is going to be my new favorite look of the car. I have wheels to show you guys. Uh-oh. <laughs> are they at least nice and sparkly? Dude, they are in the sunlight. I haven't seen them like on the car in the sunlight yet. This is the before, and this is what the wheels look like. Nice. These are two wheels. He did this with powder coat. How? Magic, and it took a lot of time. Yeah, yeah I was gonna say, you actually did a really good job. Dude, honestly, like- to get the raisin lamp. You're right? Well, the hardest thing is the original part right here. Yeah. How small the text is right there. Yeah. The flake looks super nice. That, that's what I asked for. I wanted like sparkly gum metal in the sunlight, but then black in the shade. And that's kind of what diamond black really is supposed good, to be. Yeah. So, dude, I'm, I'm happy. This is, this is just mean. This is just, this is just straight up mean. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Dude, when, when you were telling me that, that you were gonna do this, I was like, this is exactly, exactly. What like, I mean, it's not gonna be like the FIRs because the FIRs are so bright and champagne-y, yeah, but like, uh, this is just like, dude, this, because I forget how much schmeat is on this rear yeah. with the Pilot Sport. It works so, with so the like, cave the rear. Dude, it's the, it's the same tire and the same setup, but I swear it looks 10 times more meaty than it ever did on, on the, it, on the darker wheel. It's crazy how flat the, pa the paint looks in this shade though. Yeah, right? Well, that's what I want, because I, I want it to be like Stormtrooper. I want it to be like black from this angle, but then like it adds a lot of quality to it when it's got a little more depth than just black. He's officially 50 shades of gray now. I guess so. <laughs> the wheels are fully on all four corners of the car. Next phase is I'm wrapping the roof black. Just so we could kind of add some balance of contrast up here because R8s don't really have that much going on up near the top in the hood because they don't have a vented hood and they don't have a roof scoop. So there's a lot going on right now down below, but this will really like bring out the contrast of the wheels and everything else by having this be black. So we've created a, uh, I've kind of mocked up a little cut line. We got to peel off the backing, heat it up, and then have two people, or maybe even three, stretch it as much as possible. And then just... What the f Someone's blowing themselves up out there. I'm not the least delicate person here. Why am I in charge? Okay, uh, Dustin, I will need you to just heat this up. Get it nice and sticky. I get the weapon. <laughs> <laughs> and he's next to my ass, oh, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> you just gotta pull as, like, just pull, 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 pull. I'm pulling. I'm also pulling you. <laughs> Alright. Now the tedious part. I hate this part the most. I gotta make a straight line cut and I'm pretty much cutting into the car, but it's got protective film on it and uh, not, not really any other ways you could do it. I don't have knifeless tape on me, so. The silence is loud. <laughs> you know why it's tough this way? Is because my arm is blocking my path. Why don't you just But if it? I, but I'm not, I'm right-handed. So like oh. doing it that way, yeah, that wouldn't be as comfortable. Now for the satisfying part. Let's see how I did. Okay, let's just, let's see how we did. Ooh. Oh, not bad at all. No one, uh, you gotta be concentrating on that line to know that it's a little bit squiggly. I'll take it. Hello. <laughs> we out here. We got the roof fully blacked out. Not gonna lie, my cuts aren't even that bad. I'd say right here is honestly the best angle, but before we roll it out and finish it off, one last thing. Voila! And uh, it's now nighttime. <laughs> that gives you a, a good, clear representation on uh, sometimes those little snap cuts actually do take a lot of time. But we got all of the decals now done in matte black vinyl to kind of carry on with the roof and also just be a lot more subtle. You can't really see it at all on video, but in actual sunlight, It'll be there. Car is pretty much now revamped. In a weird way, it feels like an entirely new car for me. Like, even though we haven't done much, this is gonna be red. 
I don't feel you pick it up. I didn't know in your head why I did that. I'm just like, oh, it makes a noise. Dude. It's a 90s so, Nissan. So, yeah, it's a 90s Nissan. So many little points on this car make a noise. Oh, it does it with this too. D Dustin's entertaining himself right now. I'm bored. <laughs> All right, let's roll this car out. It's the look that I always wanted, but I never knew how much I really needed. Quick run through for those of you that do not know, we got the Vorsteiner front lip down here. We actually got the headlights, this piece of them blacked out. Most Gen 2 R8s don't even have that, so that just adds on to the aggression. The whole entire front grille setup, that's all blacked out too. Now we have our roof blacked out to go along with the maxed inside skirts. The TE37 Ultra M specs made for the Huracan and R8 fitment. We got the Vorsteiner kit carrying on the rear. I don't know how much you can hear now because the car is just overpowering everything, but uh, this is really refreshing coming from a uh, full-on McDonald's clown car to have something this clean. Dude, I've never been this hype over a set of wheels. I swear to God. Are you enjoying my sunglasses over there? I, I mean, I feel like I'm obligated to wear them with the Camaro. Yeah, exactly. He's I, actually Tom Cruise. What do you think? Do you think the, this is the best that the car's ever looked? Yeah. I think it is. Yeah. Like, I hate to do the BBS FIRs like that, but frankly, like, this is just so mean. This looks like it, well, I'll be honest, it, it looks like it needs some twin turbos back there. So we'll, we'll see if we get to that this winter time. Man. Well done. Job. Shout out Fast Adams and everyone else who's ever been a part of this car. But on this note, I'm gonna sign this vlog off. Next phase is I'm raffin', I'm raffin', I'm rapping the roof black.